In this video, I'm going to quickly walk you through how to replace spaces or other characters with an underscore in both text within a column and column names as well. So to get started, I'm going to do this all in Jupyter Notebook. If you don't know how to access R in a Jupyter Notebook, you can check out this video above that walks you through how to get access to that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to load in Tidyverse. This is just going to be overall helpful in being able to do all the things we want to do. So we're going to do library tidyverse, and then we can hit shift enter, and that will run this. Once that's finished, the next thing that I want to do is load in the actual data set I'm going to show you this on. So we're going to do the MPG data set. So if we look at that, we can see that particularly in our model, we have a lot of names that have spaces in them. So what happens if we actually want those spaces to be underscores so that we can convert these into maybe columns and be able to access them a lot easier? So I'm going to show you how to do that next. So now that that's been ran, I'm going to click over here just so that it will shrink this down so it's a little bit easier to be able to move on to our next set of code. So I can write in here. Now what I'm going to do is I want to be able to change that code and so, or be able to change this space to an underscore. So what I'm gonna use for this is the G sub. And the G sub basically works by taking in, first it's going to take in the text that wants to be replaced. Then you're going to give it the text to replace with. And then finally, you're going to give it the data. So in this case, we're going to do a G sub of a space to an underscore. And we're going to do it in the first, I'm going to set my MPG to DF. That's just data frame. It's a shorthand for that. So I'm going to do it in DF and then to access this specific column, I'm going to use a dollar sign and then add model and do that. So now we can see that we've replaced everything has a underscore instead of a space. So even if there's multiple words, there's still an underscore instead of a space there. But if I access DF again, it didn't change anything. And that's because I didn't set this to be that new column. So if I want that to be the new column, now what I'm gonna do is do DF model is going to be set to this substituted names. So when I do that, now it's not gonna give me any output there, but when I redo DF, it's now going to give me this output with all of these being in the middle there. Now, if we wanted to undo what we just did, it would actually be really easy. So now we could do df model g sub, and now we want to replace underscores with in df model. And if we hit df again, you can see now we've undone what we did. So now what happens if we want to do that in the column names? Okay, so in this case, I have rewritten over DF with a new data frame that has two columns in it, class number and class color. But what you can see is there's now space between these. So if you do DF class number, it's going to give you an error. Instead, you're going to have to set this into quotations every time you want to get access to that column. And that's gonna be really frustrating, especially when you get more advanced into things and you can't just set things into quotations, things actually won't accept it. So instead, what we want to do, let's come back to DF, is we want to do the same thing we did above and replace this with at least an underscore so that we can then access it. So how are we going to get access to it? So we're gonna first write our G sub command and in this case, we're going to want to replace a space and we're going to replace it with an underscore. And now to be able to get access to it, we need to use the call names. 
So we're going to do call names on Dia and finish that off. So now you can see we've replaced that. So now we need to set it to call names. And when we rerun DF, we now have this underscore there. So now I can run DF class number and it will work just fine. The other thing is if you wanted to just use snake case, you could instead, um, I'm going to reset it back. So now our DF looks like it did originally. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have call names. DF is going to be set to G sub space is going to be set to absolutely nothing. So it's just going to remove that space from there and pull in the correct data set. And now when I call df, it's going to look like snake case. So now we've removed out of that space instead of replacing it with an underscore. And so you can do this on any type of data set. You just need to make sure that this data is pulling in the correct text. So if you're trying to get a column names, it needs to be call names. If you're trying to get a column and change out that text, you just need to put the column within there. I hope this was really helpful and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.